Hello, and I'm Matthew Capino, and welcome to my demonstration of um, some of the basics of flying. Today we're going to do a approach into Winnipeg International Airport. We're currently on the left downwind for runway 36. What we're going to do today is show, demonstrate the uh, basics of a descent, how to control descent using pitch and power, how to control your uh, speed using the pitch, how to control the descent using the power. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Um, and we're also going to show, you know, we're going to incorporate that when with ILS um, to show too high, too low, and how to, to react to those situations. So, what we're at is we're on the left downwind. We're currently at 2,800 feet looking at the, the altimeter. We're currently level off, hitting on a heading of, well, it was 180, now it's 185, which is still good. <laughs> and we're doing uh, approximately. 85, 88 knots, around that range. Flaps are up, lights are on, we're all good to go. So let's continue here and we'll start our descent here. Nope, oh, nice little unpause jump there. Okay, so we're over the flap limit range and we're going to show you how to control speed while on cruise here. Just to start off with things. You obviously you want your plane level off at zero on the VSI and you reduce power to bring back the speed. Keeping the plane level, you know, will help control the speed and bring it back to power. There's the pitch, there's the power We're acting together to control speed. I'm gonna keep that VSI at zero, bring the power back a bit more, get us back to flat plane of range. There you go, 85 knots. We can drop flaps now, and I don't know why I'm turning, don't ask why. <laughs> okay, first notch flaps, here we go. Okay, and we're gonna start our base leg turn. Trying to keep the plane level by bringing the plane's nose up. Add a little power. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of power for this. Okay, let's keep it rate 1. Anything too steep, too fast, you can't control, obviously. Unless you're an F 16 pilot. There you go. 090. Zero, zero. Not quite, but close enough. Bring down our next notch of flaps. And just remember, when every time you put a notch of flaps, you'll climb a bit, so just push your choke, your yoke, or stick down a bit to counteract that. Okay, so there's two things to control in the descent. Your speed and your descending itself. To control the speed, you use the pitch. Point the nose plane down, it goes out faster. As you can look at the speed, pull the nose up, you can see right away the plane slows down. We're going to select 70 knots to control our, for our speed. So I'm going to push the nose down, bring it back to 70 knots. To control our descent, you use the power. Less power, you descend more. The more power, you descend less. So if we want to descend, we'll take away power. I'm going to approximately use about 1600 RPM to start our descent off and see where that brings us at 1600 RPM at 70 knots. In a Cessna 182, that gave me actually 500 feet per minute. Let's see what this plane does. Uh, what do you know? It's practically nearly the same. It's actually minus 750. Which is not too shabby. Gonna take a look at the left here. See where we're at in ascent. Okay, a little bit more distance here to kill. Remember, maintaining 70 knots. And we're descending at 750 feet per minute. See the glide slope is starting to react as we're actually descending quite fast. Which is okay. Okay, let's turn final here. And we'll deal with everything once we're there. Maintaining 70 knots through the turn. And actually, yeah, we're a little early here. Okay, there you go. Level off, still doing 70 knots. We'll do a tower call. Let's put a big tower, let's golf Bravo in November. We're in final, blah, blah, blah. Those are the things. And let's continue flying here. Okay, now we're in final. Time to decide if we're too high, too low, just right. Looking at the ILS, we're too low. So, maintain that 70 knots. We're going to increase power to kill the descent, put it back to about 2100 RPM, still trying to maintain that 70 knots, 
pitching our nose up because we're going a little too fast here. There you go. We just leveled off using the power. Maintain that 70 knots. Didn't do anything, just... Okay. So we'll discuss the next thing. What happens when that glide slope comes back down, which it's doing right now. Once it reaches the middle, you take away power again to resume your descent. And 70 knots, 70 knots, there you go. And as for lining up for the runway, small, gentle turns, nothing like jerky, jerky, jerky like this, jerky, jerky, bad. You can't control the airplane, obviously, you won't be able to concentrate. There you go, glide slope. Reduce power again, so resume the descent. It's like gentle turns, like this. If you have to do it like that, nothing fast, nothing, nothing sudden. The runway will eventually come to you. There you go. 70 knots. We're a little bit above the glide slope again, so we'll reduce the power again to increase our descent. Ooh, wow. A little rough here. Not used to the joystick. So, when I was training on the Cessna at the Aviation Museum, we had flight yokes, which were smoother than these Logitech Force Feedback sticks. I'll tell you that much. And there you go. We're on the glide slope, maintaining 70 knots, doing about 400 feet per minute on the descent, lining up with the runway with small turns. Look at that, everything's picture perfect as we come in over the numbers. But since we're VFR, we don't really care at this point, so we'll reduce power and start. Our flare. Flaring, 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 reducing power, and that should be good. There you go. Well, frames just froze because I'm using fraps. But otherwise, nice landing, not too shabby, in my opinion at least. Well, not quite down the middle, but there you go. Reduce, restrike the flaps, get off the runway, call ground, and that pretty much concludes our demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it educational. And, uh, like I said, pitch and power. Pitch to control speed, power to control descent. And a little too fast there. <laughs> and we thank you very much for watching. And we hope you have a nice day.